£210,000 and the trophy will be going to one of these two fine players, the top two ranked players in the game. He leads Luca Brussel 6-4. This is the world number one versus the world champion. Of course, they had a memorable meeting at the Crucible last season where Brussel produced that incredible seven-frame burst. It's been a quick match. Average frame time just under 14 minutes. Brussel's had two centuries. O'Sullivan six half centuries. Can O'Sullivan get away early? Can Brussel peg him back? We're going to find out. I'm alongside Neil Folds to talk you through it. Yeah, thank you, Dave. It's a, it was a very uh, entertaining opening 10 frames. Beautiful snooker to watch, actually. I think that Ronnie O'Sullivan has always been suited in those free flowing matches. Eight. He's lost before to quick players, but he, I think he prefers the faster pace of snooker Nine. because he can play it that way better than anybody. Sixteen. A little bit jabby that one, and I think his mind was on the cue ball, trying to get it around the back of the black. But uh, I can't think of many shots I've ever seen him miss like that. Really, with the rest, even though he infrequently uses one. it, I've always thought he's very good with it. Uh, really a, a few nerves, perhaps. I mean, you, you are forcing those in. He was perfectly on the black. I didn't really expect him to whisper. Well, chance number two. Fourteen. Fifteen. In 2012, he won the German Masters at 1.4 nil down against Andrew Higgins. Best of nine. Won the tournament and almost kicked start his career again. Won the world title that season as well. It's hard to say one match would make all the difference, but you know, sometimes you just need something to go your way. The last person to win the same tournament four years running is Ronnie O'Sullivan himself, the Premier League. He won it five times running. Yeah, for a while that Premier League, the finals weekend, was played after the World Championships. Ronnie just played as Ronnie did, and he I mean, one year's played up in Manchester in the semi final of the final, a complete non event. It just buried everybody. Very significant frame to build a three frame advantage. You know, it's starting to pull away a little bit. Forty. Forty seven. Yeah, still needs another red here. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 47. So there's enough on with the clearance. One. So, we're always searching for turning points, moments in a match. I mean, there's not a lot that's difficult, but of course the situation is probably the most difficult. Eight. Needs to do it. Clearances away like this Nine. can really turn matches, certainly psychologically. Just try and keep things simple here. Tight control of the cue ball. 15. 16. Probably already thinking about getting on the left-hand red. I think he played a two-in-one shot. He knew he would be on the red to the right corner. 23. This red, he's got to go for the more profitable colours. 
24. A terrific shot. He's well and truly favoured to clear. Of course, it doesn't mean he will. Blue is what he has to take here, or more. 31 38 40 Well, he can win by a point. Forty-three. Well, a couple of points, in fact, probably the last difficult shot, just getting in behind the blue nicely. Forty-seven. That red that O'Sullivan missed in the middle, it was a fairly acute angle. Yeah, and the problem he had was he, there was nothing safe. Pink and black to win an important yeah. frame because the danger was the final was going to be going away from him. But Luca Bussell, Julie makes the clearance. So a dramatic start to the concluding session of this Shanghai Masters final. Ronnie O'Sullivan's lead is cut to 6-5. A very exciting Shanghai Masters final. I think we felt it would be, but sometimes it can end up one-sided. This is, uh, at the moment, a bit of a thriller. It's very early in the season, and I guess if Luca Bussell won the Shanghai Masters today, then it would be the dream start. It's not necessarily going to help his cause, though. He got a bit of cover on the blue. Poor shot from Brazil. Played in behind that Brown caught it too thick. One. There's quite a bit riding on that shot, wasn't there, with the other red over the pocket. Brussel said something interesting before the final because they're both attacking players. He said, you know, I'm more attacking than Ronnie is. He said, he's more measured than me, but in the balls is the best ever. So I've got to be careful, A, to take my chances and B, not to leave him any. Yes, where O'Sullivan was very good already in this break was from the yellow. He played on the red that was on the black spot. Very often it's the first few shots where the key balls have been moved or potted. Clearing the decks for all the rest. Twelve. Giving himself a chance. Nineteen. You know, this is a sort of event that deserves his attention frankly you know you get treated well it's a prestige tournament 27 um, of course one of the great cities of the world Shanghai 28 35 36 well that pocket again that pocket again, the red in the previous frame. The red to the middle, the one up into the top left must be inviting as well. Ooh, Sullivan will be surprised but very pleased to be back at the table so soon. One. Well, that's a reprieve for Sullivan, although that same thing happened in the last frame because he didn't ultimately win it. I think Fergal's uh, marathon frame record is not going to be under threat in this match. This is whipping by, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think not. Your record's safe, Fergal. Eight. Nine. Oh, Sullivan, before the match, was saying nice things about Purcell. He said he's his favourite player to watch. Sixteen. Seventeen. His control is as good as ever. It's a surprise when he makes a positional error. Now, if this goes in, it's too many. But the red that follows it will guarantee that his two-frame lead has been restored. Brissell had that chance, though. Which, he didn't pop the first red even. 33. O'Sullivan looking for his 77th. 
professional title, all told, in this uh, glorious career that continues at the very highest level. 39 46 47 52 <laughs> 52 Tony second chance in the frame another quick one it's gone to O'Sullivan who restores his two frame advantage Smashing in the claws, but I think the red is reachable. Um. Well, he put his hand up to apologise, but Luca could knock this in, ball in hand. <laughs> that was not easy, but he would have expected to get it, I think. Yeah, he was getting plenty of those in the first session, but uh, they're not flying in yet in this one. One. Now, the left-handed shot on the table for probably blue. The problem with the black is I don't know whether when we spotted it will be potable everywhere. Because he's not on the blue the right side, he may have to play it. Ronnie O'Sullivan, five. Unexpected, that one. One. Yes, I mean, as you say, you know, he's four down at the crucible overnight. Nine. Come three down here in Shanghai. This seems a long way to come back. Well, he deserved a better fate than that. He's on a red, but it's not well, easy. But the very fact he ended up on the green off that red, it tells you that he wasn't quite in control. He needs to recover here with the rest. And it stays out. So he sort of lost his way early on in that break. He was unlucky, though, not to land on a, a red nicer than that. One. Uh, that was not good. Uh, he potted the blue into the corner of the pocket, not into the middle, and as a consequence, the key will just drifted further away from the red. Ronnie O'Sullivan, six. Just had a, a slight lapse in his concentration, this frame. shot coming up because he's played on the black and that will open up all the reds and could be a frame winner doesn't like the bridging does he at all <laughs> not even seen him use that sort of bridge before always showing his knuckles on the shot Well, uh, not so much hit and hope, but he didn't really know how that was going to pan out. 14. I don't think there's very much on. Could be a very thin red to the right corner. Had it well. Deserved a better kiss than 15. that. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't pop them if they're not there to pop. It's as simple as that. I mean, this snooker, I don't think Luca had any other shot but to play it. 
when he rolls into the reds he might leave it touching so then you've got the advantage of the balls It's an interesting point in the match, I think, because O'Sullivan's 7 5 is a, it's a useful lead, but in this frame, for whatever reason, he hasn't looked so good. That's a big mistake this time. Surely Russell can capitalise on that. And there's no doubt that O'Sullivan's concentration has gone. One. Didn't pot that cleanly. Just got to make sure that he gets this frame one. Gets to within one frame. Eight. Nine. Russell, two big centuries and quite a few other sizable breaks, but his cue ball is running and running. Okay, it does go on a bit of an adventure at times, doesn't it? It's got to be said. Well, it's one of the reasons it makes him an exciting player. It's a fine sort of trapeze act or something, isn't it? It's not always textbook. 15. Finds ways of recovering a break. Still not enough in this. It'll be 40 in it. Oh, there's an example of the cue ball going running. Look at this for a shot. This is a great shot. He's almost got it too much on this. Exactly what he was trying there. 21. Needs another red after this black. 28. 29. Yeah, a, a, a typical Purcell contribution, really. Eye catching. Time's a little dicey, but he kept it going. Sullivan had quite a few chances in the frame, but we're back to within one again. 52. 55. 55 will do nicely. Luca Brussel pulls one back, and this is still a tight final. A series of not very good shots at all, uh, Sullivan. The last six or seven shots, barely one of them has been as planned. Not sure why, but that's what's happened. Well, the importance of this frame seems not lost on either player. In the last sort of 20 minutes, Purcell may have felt, well, he's, there's chances to really punish some mistakes. That was one there. He didn't do it. One. We saw against Higgins how he was struggling and then suddenly things just changed. Seven. He really wanted to be on the blue there. It was such an easy shot to get from blue to red. Bolt colour to red. Just got to play a screw shot here. Bit of power. Looks okay though. Ten. Eleven. I think that wasn't his first option to get on that red, I'm sure. He had no angle on the blue to get on anything else.
Well, uh, Sullivan battling to find something here, and it's the fact that he's been battling all week, which is right. why he's in the final, of course. And things haven't been going so well. He's dug in, shown a lot of resolution. 23. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Well, he's got slightly embedded in those reds there. See, he's quite a good split, but... Just a degree of difficulty about this queuing near another red. Yeah, it was the red, I think, that uh, was very close to the cue ball. It was a big distraction. Had that gone in, you can't imagine that he wouldn't have won the frame from there. Luca with another long straight one. He missed one when he had ball in hand earlier, but this one is just off straight. You can see the distances. What a shot. What a shot. The fact that it was off straight is... Why he played it the way he did. Brown ball. Five. That's okay. That is OK. Very crucial Six. passage of play in the context of the whole match, this, the whole tournament. Luca wins his frame and gets back to all square. Then, after they come back to conclude, he's got a slightly different look about it, this match. Yeah, and I do think the concern for O'Sullivan, he's not scoring. It's, it's, he's winning frames, you know, two or three visits. Thirteen. Uh, what a chance this is now. Yes, he's a few behind. Doesn't mean 18. a lot where the balls are. 19. I'd like to think any kiss on the middle of those three would be all right. Well, your minds are now drawn to that red on the right of the table. 27. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. Forty-two. Forty-three. A lot depends on which colour he takes off this last red. He wouldn't want to have to need the green. Yellow would love to be frame ball. The green could be a problem, I think. He's played that well, hasn't he? Right behind it. So the lead is 12. 48. Plus those 7 and 19. 49. Thank you, Bob. Correction. Well, he'll need it now, won't he? Because he'll be uh, 23 with the blue, so 25 with the yellow. 25 on. Don't do anything too fancy. Make sure you do get to that 25-point lead with that many on rather than risk missing the yellow, playing a massive shot. Well, he's still trying, isn't he? And that's the kind of cavalier player he is, but he's still... 56. He's not getting anywhere near being on the green. 56. I think he might be OK. It was, you could see what could happen there. He could just run and run, that key ball. for the neutral it would have completely set up the remaining frames if Brussel won this one. Oh, fantastic Great. pot. Yes, he was only playing to pot it and not get on the ground, but barring a couple of snookers. Look up Brussel, three. Yeah, could not be set up better, could it? O'Sullivan, he's seen enough. 
So, Brussel, I'm sure, was looking to win the mini session. That's exactly what he's done. The Shanghai Masters final, all square at seven each. First to 11 to become champion here this evening at the grand stage. It was 6 4 to O'Sullivan. Indeed, it was 7 5, but Brussel has uh, fought back. Was struggling a bit before the interval, but he's had 15 minutes to collect his thoughts as he lines this long red up. And it goes. As you say, that he's got to concentrate his mind now because there are no more breaks. It's right through to someone winning the, the title here between this pair. Well, it was a good sign with the red going in. It was a bad sign, clearly, missing that by such a distance. One. The thing is, I mean, it's a long match, isn't it, for one day, 21 frames. But I can't think of any other tournaments where, in a single match, you play 21 frames that day, so... Well, that's the point, isn't it? I mean, it would seem too much of a, almost a test of endurance which is not really what we're looking for in snooker. But either way, We've got six. one player will have to take charge of this match from this point. Safety shot potentially. He had the brown ball in his eye line. This would be hard to get safe from. I don't know what the plan was there, quite frankly. I don't wow. think there was one. Enemies. Four. I don't think Luca knew exactly what he was doing there. Yeah, so that's not to have it put back. Just a bit half-hearted, wasn't it, the Brussel shot? No great thought process in how he was going to escape from that snooker. to move the red just below and to the left of the black away if he could might still be able to here perhaps just grazed it that's nice 21 black will be freed up completely in a minute this is where he is an absolute master Snooker's equivalent really is O'Sullivan around the black spot. 30. He's an artist getting the balls into positions where he wants them. He's done it here again. Yes, and now 37. the frame's at his mercy. 38. That was a little kick, I think. I think you're right. I was about to say, Dave, that, that to me was heavy. For that reason, his next shot is more tricky than it should be. But it looks like he's recovered it well. 46. And where's the key ball going this time? 48. When he potted that red in the middle, he played on the pink, I would think, there, and... 
You end up playing the yellow, and this frame has not been put away from something where you'd have uh, you might have lost, put your house on it, but you probably would have lost your garden shed there, thinking he wouldn't win the frame. It looked a certainty, didn't it? It's only 47 in it. Another frame where he's not made a sizable break. It's been a bit of a pattern today, really. I tell you, there's a handy little nudge on the blue ball. Is he going to find a way? Goodness me, that looked... It didn't look like there was a path back. Can't think how he expected to get cue ball through a gap there. Reds were moving at the time. Well now, One. is there a twist in this frame? There could be. Eight. Nine. Looking down the line, 60. is he on the red? I think he is the right hand red. And he didn't push the other red safe either, which is handy for him. 17. Well, he potted it into the right side of the pocket when he wanted to pot it into the left side and hold. Could have run it around of two cushions there. We didn't think that one through overly. Now this recovery shot is big. It was even thinner than our first thought because it only just reached. Absolutely, the cue ball didn't quite reach the middle pocket. <laughs> it's real watch through the finger stuff, isn't it? With Luca Brasell, he finds some pots, he finds some areas of the table. Well, he knew straight away that wasn't going in. Twenty-four could be frame over. Pressure was just building in that break, wasn't it? Things were getting more difficult by the shot. Well, it's another reprieve for O'Sullivan. I mean, Purcell, if he doesn't win tonight and there's a long way to go, we'll look back on moments like this, really. One. Not his problem, of course. He's trying to get to 11. Four. That's the target. Needs the two reds here. For eight, seven. Five. Yeah, a little bit of a relieved O'Sullivan, I should think. Uh, inwardly, you, you wouldn't know it necessarily 11. looking at him, but he knows he should have won this frame before now, but at least he has won it. Players have got to take advantage when they get the chance because you know at some point he'll come good. He did against Higgins in the end. He did against Selby in the end. Actually, Ali Carter as well put him under some 50. early pressure. He's responded each time. Brassell could have gone back in front there, 70. but once again, he's going to be chasing this final. 20. He just lost his way. Again, the cue ball was finding <laughs> past the table he didn't really want it to find. 24. <laughs> well, this audience loved that one. Cutting the blue across the board cushion. So Purcell had the chance to steal, he didn't take it, and Ronnie O'Sullivan, he's back in front at 8-7. So Luca Purcell gets the final underway again, frame 16. Well, he didn't get all that close to that one. Usually with those, he's got extreme accuracy. Didn't even hit the jaw. Wow, I well, can get to it with the black there. One. Now, if you can get the appropriate cannon on the red above the black, this could be an early chance. 
And that'll do it nicely. Nine. Highest break, 78 today for my Sullivan. 16. 70. 24. 25. 32. Well, you will have to get into the bunch. I'm just wondering how and when. 33. He's played it pretty well without any great luck here. I don't see what more he could have done. 40. Now, one that will test his long game here, this red, up into the green pocket. Now he's passed the test. And some, that was a good shot. A little hard stun shot there. It wasn't obvious that he'd left a chance, Purcell. The cue ball and the red were very close together. But 45. Only a couple of minutes later, we see that uh, he's taken this break quite a long way already. 46. Very good shot, isn't it? To get across there like that, swing it wide on these tables with the cushion slide a little bit. It's hard to play that shot. 54. I think expect a nudge into the bunch here rather than anything too pacey. Beautiful. Delightful shot. That is how to get the reds open. What a shot. And this is the thing 61. we were saying earlier, you know, he's not bound to sort of struggle for long. We know it's in there. We've seen it this week. It's come out again here. What if he's got any interest in the high break, David, in 141? Can't afford too many more low-value colours. Worth £10,000. John Higgins is the man in possession. Yeah, as if he's not like, inflicted enough misery on John already in this tournament. Well, he can get 144 if he keeps going red-black. Wouldn't be entirely sure whether O'Sullivan has even considered it because it's not always the case with him. It makes the next frame big, obviously. If he can get to 10, then Brussel really does have it all to do. But it's how he's won this one that will concern the Belgian, I'm sure. He did say beforehand, Ronnie O'Sullivan, once he gets in, is the best player. It's been a fabulous break, Dave. It really has. 86. I mean, he got into the bunch at the appropriate moment to go up for the brown ball on one occasion now he's on the this red goodness me 93. the break could be in jeopardy here 94 well it's black for century he's first of the final wonderful stop once again from Ronnie O'Sullivan he's seventh of the tournament 101 102 even that shot was terrific What about that for a place to put the cue ball? If you put it there with your hand, it would be absolutely exactly where it is now. 110. 416-118. One hundred and twenty-one. One hundred and twenty-five. Well, he's gone too far. Did not play on this down into the green pocket, top right. One hundred and thirty. But it's been a truly magnificent break, and of course, over the years we've seen some spellbinding breaks from O'Sullivan, but this one has been. As good as most of them, it's been superb. The black for the highest break of the tournament. In a key frame in the 
final, 1-4-3, a glorious total clearance from Ronnie O'Sullivan. He could have gone 8-7 down, but he's just two from victory at 9-7. the highest of the tournament. That'll be worth 10,000, assuming he's not beaten by Brussel. <laughs> well, it took about a red gun of a pocket. We had one over each pocket there. One. Playing it slowly. You never quite know if you're going to get a minor drift. Just feel that uh, he might be at the point where he's. It's going to sound unstoppable, but very inspired stuff when he needs it most. Breaking all the rules there. You're Nine. meant to sort of, if you're changing your mind between what you're going to play on, you're meant to start again. But he just did it on the shot. 14. 15. Twenty-one. Twenty-eight. Yes, he was uh, just about on it. Couldn't really control the cue ball and take it out of bolt, so the big shot's going to have to continue if the break's to continue. Great shot, but I don't know if he's on the red or not. 31. I think the blue might be covering. Well, maybe not. The red's gone in. He looked he got out of his chair, didn't he? And the expectation of playing the next shot. Is he looking to take it even further or wow big shot great shot so okay he was lucky with the fluke but 36. that brown he had to get feeling confident again queuing brilliantly <laughs> 37 42 This is it. So, this break is keeping going somehow. Yes, he had the fluke. The previous frame was absolute complete. That's a control of the cue ball. This time, he said it been a very different break. He's going to try and cut the brown in. It's thin. Now what? <laughs> I've read up into the green pocket, perhaps. And possibly into the yellow pocket. The options are there. But the shots, both of them are difficult. Doesn't seem to be any stopping it at the moment. No, I mean, this, this has looked like a sort of Brussel break, hasn't it? There's a sort of adventurous way he's made it. Well, Luca's only hope is fine. that somehow he leaves this over the pocket, but uh, that's the only hope, really. You don't feel it's going to happen because he doesn't look like missing right now. And that's, I think, the consummate match play shot. Just roll this red in. Get the frame one. 63. This is frame ball. Very different break to the last one. But surely a frame winning break all the same. He was in complete control <laughs> in the last frame. In this one, he's seen parts of the table he didn't know existed. But he's kept it going. OK, got a fluke, but he's played some great stuff as well. And this could be another century. He's got all the reds into play. And it's 70. been the story, really, of the tournament for him. There have been times when he has looked vulnerable, but his opponents haven't taken advantage. 79. 80. 86. 87.
93. 94. So, the pink for back-to-back -back centuries. Spellbinding stuff, this. 100. 102. The various different colours he's had to take. He's been up and down the table, whereas in the last frame it was a magnificent display of... Cubal control. This is more sort of free and easy stuff from O'Sullivan. More than one way for him to make a century break. 109. And Luca got up, didn't he? he? Understandably thought he was going to play another shot. Then he got the fluke. And he sat back down again. 114. Who's going to beat him in Shanghai before anyone gets the chance? 120 to follow the 143. Purcell now is going to have to win the last four. O'Sullivan, he needs one. Purcell needs all four. It feels really difficult to think of a way back from here. You've got to get to 11. Luca Bussell is capable of inspiration of his own, but I mean, where do you even start? Maybe if Sullivan misses this, it'll give him something to aim for. I mean, he's had a little burst there, Sullivan, which is ended by that shot, by the way, but at like a 25-minute burst of absolute sensational snooker, which has now come to an end. Who knows? Six. Seven. It's been a really good final. We knew that these two play such attacking snooker. Lovely snooker to watch. Fifteen. I think Luca has played pretty well. Yeah, he had a chance for eight seven, didn't he? He just lost his way with the cue ball. 22. 23. He's the only player under 30 in the top 16, Luca Brussel. So, you know, he's got a lot of time still to achieve a lot in this sport. 30. 37. 38. Played that well. He did have a big angle, but he really got behind the red nicely. This is good from Brussel. He had a lot of sitting down time and saw balls flying in from all angles. 44. It's hard to see him avoiding those six reds. They have to really dig into the cue ball, but I still think he'll hit them. So I'm just going to try and plough through them. Pink come to his rescue up there. Can he get through? Pink ball. He's playing the pink anyway. Whether it be cushion first, I think it is. Look up yourself, 52. He's been unlucky on the previous shot. I mean, he tried to top the cue ball through the bunch. You never quite know how that's going to end up. One. Now, the biggest problem here for Brussel is that he may have played his last shot. In the Higgins match, the Selby match, and this match Seven. with Luca Purcell, he has finished all three matches very strongly. Yeah, killer instinct. Still top of the rankings. 15. 22. 23. The problem red on the left side is, is the one, but I'm not even sure whether it's going to be a problem, the way he's playing. 31. Whether he decides to play it left-handed or move it, I don't know. Maybe he just moves the red off a red and then finds some shot on his colour. 
Well, that's one way the break could end. A double kiss, which you couldn't know about. Does he try and keep it going, or he's got a guaranteed snooker if he wants it? And in no move to let the sail back to the table, and if this red goes in, I don't think he will be coming back. Well, again, beautifully cued on the brown. This is the key shot now, surely. But it's not there. A reprieve. Ronnie right, not left it on, but Brussel just delighted to see it stay out. Sell hoping for the best here. So, Luca must have been wondering if he wasn't going to get another shot. Now he's got a chance. He's got the makings of a few more twists if he can win this frame. if the yellow would have gone between the green and brown into that top left pocket the answer is no according to Hawkeye the safety shot is going to have to be good it's going to have to be a snooker as you're going for it well wide play safe you can take a shot like that on look up yourself six yes a lot of players would have rolled up behind the green it's not Lucas style, is it? Maybe it's cost him this time. Two. Five. Just got one more thing to do here, and that's get some sort of an angle on the pink to make it possible to get over on the black. 14. Now he's certainly got an angle here. <laughs> Swinging the cue ball right round. He looks a natural. Oh! It was a natural, but he forgot the, the most 14. important part. Well, you heard the, the groan from the crowd. A lot of distance between these two balls, though. Brussel was had the best view of that. I mean, look, I don't even know. Does this cut? It's the thinnest of thin. If it does, it's a horrible shot. Yeah. Oh, wow. Brilliant. And, of course, crucially, Six. Ronnie will need the black twice to win the frame and match. Brussel needs the black. to extend the final but it's not there so it could yet be a respot look up yourself six Well played. Wow! <laughs> it's a full length double. What a frame. The final looked over. Ronnie O'Sullivan had the chance to clear. But this black flying into the yellow pocket has extended it. Extraordinary 10 8. You just get the feeling there could be some more drama to come. 
has quite a poor safety shot. I believe that the cue ball bounced unnaturally for that bottom cushion, but I don't think the line was great. And this is a long red, which could offer plenty, but by no means is it easy, this range. Well, that is a fantastic shot. That really is. The way that he caressed that in. Well, if he's on that red up into the green pocket, that's very handy indeed. It was not what he played on by any stretch. Ronnie O'Sullivan, eight. The audience are being royally entertained, aren't they? They're living every moment of this final. One. Yeah, excellent pot. Five. Ten. Eleven. That'll do him, I think. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty-six. Twenty seven, thirty four, thirty five. It's pretty good stuff, isn't it? I mean, it, it really 40. is the standard of play we're seeing in this session. And since the mid session interval, it's been. Quite dazzling snooker from both players. Fifty. Fifty-one. There is a red below the bunch he could play on. I think that's what he's decided in the end to play on the loose one. Cannons, of course, can go wrong. Fifty-six. 57. So red and a colour. 64. Should be 10 9. So if you can get it. Seven. <laughs> well, 71. what a terrific match this is. And what an exciting finish we have in prospect. Well, I think we've already said it, but I'll say it again. You must never underestimate Luca Bussell. I just know that there's a lot more to it than that. The comebacks, everything, is not out of this match by any means. There's a lot happened after that, of course. Cue balls having the nerve to go oh. in the pocket, so it's not a century, but a fine 83 from Luca Brussel to extend the match further. There's a potential for two more. O'Sullivan 10, Brussel 9. So now it just feels like Ronnie O'Sullivan is slightly on the back foot, having been Luca firmly in that position for the onslaught O'Sullivan put up to him. I mean, wouldn't it be something if it did go all the way to 10 all? It really would be amazing. Not a favourable kiss, not uh, really. Goodness, he's looking at the blue here. Well, this is, uh, this is a massive shot to be playing. Well, I think it was just the pace that stopped it going in. It was very, very close. 
played any slower, I think it would have just gone in. He knows how close. Juan. Eight. Nine. Well, that looks A1 to get into the bunch here. They're very, very tightly grouped, though. And they kind of still are. It was a really compacted 16. bunch of reds, which you've got to sort of almost get the magic shot Daniel in to Sullivan, spread them. 16. Some good stuff being played here. Well, I mean, the way these two have been potting, the safety is probably more important than ever when it happens. Foul. And They played at the Masters, didn't they, at the start of the year, and, and uh, Brussel was well beaten there, 6-1. This is really tough. To get the cue ball up well, though, it's a good shot. At least it's kind of taken the sting out of the match, this frame. Safety bout like this. Well, that's no good to him. No good at all. Well, no, ever since one. he missed that pink. Sweet. Very sweet. And that would be quite something where the balls are. You get a big kick there. Cuba didn't really move very far. Five. Been quite lucky there. He has left a red. Ronnie Sullivan, five. If Luca takes on this round, I think it pretty much has to go in. One. Oh, what a shot that is. What a shot. That has really put him into a position where he can get himself in front now. Twelve. Didn't have enough right hand side on it. Don't know if the black goes to the middle, but even then it'd be a horrid shot. Neither of which take him for easy safety. He's going for it. He's going for it. Look up yourself. Twelve. Uh, that was horrid, but let's be honest, he didn't have many options. Maybe he kind of half went for it and hoped that Sullivan might have difficulty with this. One. Uh, 
Well, there's a lot of work to do yet. It's already 19 in front. Seven. Yeah, that cue ball just went on, didn't it? A little too far. 14. Both players have had a real problem in this frame. It's been awkward. 14. It's a handy lead though, isn't it? 27 points. Well, that's a magnificent shot. They're dropping it in. Playing up the table against the net. It's not really easy to see how he could win the frame here, but just get a few points back. Caught the green. Well, he was up straight away, even, even before the cube had reached the red. He knew he hadn't got the uh, shot right. going to take his eye off that red was he so a chance for Purcell to make the score in the frame closer one the ball's up the table now looking more promising the yellow here it's the only ball that's going to cause him a problem eight Nine. That's obviously a good shot. The yellow will be an issue later, but not just yet. Just a slight issue with getting on that red up by 15. the green. If he could have been perhaps on the on the green itself. So I think he 16. is playing on the green. Very nice. Well, I just think he had to play the cannon there. I mean, yellow it would be horrible along that cushion 24. to get on the green. It's not worked. Well, very, for once, Probably a very cautious 24. shot from Bussell. It was just about getting the yellow ball safe. He didn't try anything else. Wow, enemies. Look up yourself four from here. He's putting him in from where the cue ball is. Now, will this tempt him? Because by no means is this an easy shot. Doesn't like to refuse much, Brussel. Seven. I wasn't entirely sure, but I suppose the, the black wouldn't have moved otherwise. Purcell was very quick to call it himself. Well, that is not one of his best. Well, yes, Dave. I mean, it could be end of match, but this is not easy. Trying to do something of that kind to, to cover it. Playing with the spider into the cushion, looking away from the ball you're trying to hit. I mean, it's pretty evil business, this one. What a shot. 
what a shot I think the players who might have been there 10 minutes trying to hit that me one of them Continue to continuing to turn the screw. Well, he needs help here. He needs help. Has he got cover or not? It could be the most golden of chances. is he hasn't got straight on this brown straight on the brown he cannot fail he's got an angle he's got to maybe go around the houses I'm sure he'll do it so he's nine only hope Brazil rests on this somehow not being potted Well, it's been a frame of twists. Nine. He could have left himself, of course, a much easier blue than that. blue ball to come down the table here is is Luca. I don't know why he hit it quite that hard. There had to be a controlled pace about it that was a little slower than that. Second chance at the blue and this time it's in so 14 in front, 13 on Sullivan, five. It's been a great match, but I think he's about to end. A very nervy frame. In it goes. Relief in the end. Ronnie O'Sullivan reigns supreme in Shanghai once more. His fourth success in a row in the Shanghai Masters. A really entertaining contest with the world champion, Luca Brussel, ends in a very scrappy frame. The champion's trophy to Ronnie O'Sullivan.